So I have something a little unique today. I'm gonna try making a bread pudding using soft pretzels. Why do you ask? Well, I had another dish planned. I made these great soft pretzel sticks, but the dish failed and I wanna salvage them. I don't wanna throw them away. So I thought of maybe trying a unique take on bread pudding. It's gonna be a chocolate pretzel bread pudding. Now with this, the only thing that's gonna be a little different is I'm not really gonna put any flavorings into the batter. With other bread puddings, you tend to put some nutmeg or cinnamon or something else like that. I'm really just gonna do sugar, eggs, milk, and cream, and that's it, and a little vanilla. I don't want to overpower the flavor of the pretzels. I really want them to shine. I'm gonna mix some milk chocolate in there, and I'm gonna finish it with some flaky salt to really enhance the flavor and give you that kind of salty, sweet flavor you would get from like a chocolate covered pretzel. So let's experiment, see how it goes. We're gonna start with a mixture of milk and cream. I have one cup milk and one cup heavy cream. We're gonna do four eggs plus one egg yolk just to get a little bit extra richness here. So part of this batter is gonna be a little bit of eyeballing. Uh, typically I know I have one loaf or two loaves so I have the ratios down but I'm gonna kind of mess around with it as I go because I don't really have like a normal serving of bread to work with. So I'm using one third cup of sugar, of white sugar, one third cup of brown sugar. Now you can use lighter brown, doesn't really matter for this. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. To me, you can never have enough vanilla. You wanna make sure the sugar gets really nice and dissolved here. We have our custard batter here. So now we just need to cut up our pretzels. So I have my leftover pretzels here. Uh, it's not a huge portion, so it's not gonna make too much. That's why I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go with the batter. I'm gonna use as much as I really need. But by the way, the recipe I used was Alton Brown's soft pretzel recipe, and these are fantastic. I'm gonna cut these up into about one inch slices. So we have our pretzels ready to go here. In goes our pretzels. Get these nice and coated. So typically I would let the bread soak about 25, 30 minutes. I may go a little longer with this because this is a little bit more of a dense, firm bread. So I'm gonna test it after about a half an hour and see where we're at. I'm gonna take this plate just to weigh it down. That way they get nice and submerged. I'm gonna let this sit for about 25, 30 minutes and then come back and check on it. All right, so this has actually been sitting for almost an hour. What I had to do is because it just wasn't getting absorbed. As you can see here, I kind of had to crush this up a little bit so the pieces would really absorb all the batter. I'm gonna go ahead and add some chocolate to this. One cup just to see how that goes in there. Probably gonna need a little bit more, but one cup looks to be just enough. All right, so we got our batter. So this isn't a big portion, so I'm just using an eight by eight cake pan. Gonna It's actually worked out to be a perfect portion for this pan. Perfect portion for this pan. And I have a little flaky sea salt, and I'll probably put a little more on after that. All right, so this is gonna go into a 350 degree oven, about 45 minutes to an hour, really just until everything is pretty much set. All right, this has had a chance to cool off. It smells really good. You can still see like all the flakes on here. Now we're gonna make our caramel sauce. You wanna use a medium-sized saucepan. To that, we're gonna put two cups of sugar, half a cup of water. You're gonna heat over medium heat and mix the water and the sugar until it's just combined. And this is the last time you're actually going to stir it. From this point forward, you need to leave it alone while it cooks. All right, in about three to four minutes, it's gonna to start to get nice and bubbly just like this. At that point, you're gonna let it cook for about eight to 12 minutes so it gets that nice golden brown color. Then you're gonna go ahead and add your butter. Stir until all the butter is melted. Once it's all melted, we're gonna remove it from the heat. And then we're gonna stir in our one cup of heavy cream until it's all combined. And then you're gonna actually wanna let this sit for about two hours till it reaches room temperature and has a chance to really thicken up. And this is what you're gonna get. This nice, just thick, creamy, silky caramel sauce. Finish with a little more flaky salt. And look at that. 
this looks positively stunning. That beautiful caramel sauce. Cheers. This is just decadence. This is really, really delicious. The saltiness, the caramel, the chocolate. I mean, it actually tastes like a chocolate covered pretzel. I'm not gonna say the pretzel flavor is overpowering, but it's there. You notice it, the saltiness, the sweetness, the caramel, the richness. This is just a great dessert. If you can find yourself some pretzel bread in the supermarket or you wanna make your own, I definitely recommend trying this recipe. Um, I will have a link in the bio for the bread pudding recipe as well as the recipe I used to make the actual pretzels. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and keep cooking.